everyone. We are talking about Ben Carson today and the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Yeah, do it sideways. <laughs> Why so are we blue? Let's figure well, this out. Well, it's because of the, the, the green curtain. High intuitive orders. It's the light. It's the lighting. Okay, I don't like it. Whoa. Raise it up a little bit, the curtain. But How not do you too look? much. How do you look, Jason? I always look great. How's that? Ooh. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's it's, it's, just it's enough? More, Let's, let's see how you look in it, though. Better. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay. So, today we are discussing... No, no, no. I can push it back. Look, Jason. Uh, Hi, guys. Thank you for good. the hearts. Who's ever green? Thank you for the hearts. Yeah, thank you. I am devoid of color here in this room. Now we have to... I have a new room, guys. So now we have to figure out... Odd statement for you to say. Devoid, of, devoid color. of color. Is Tracy <laughs> devoid of color in, in hi. personality? Hi, Jason no. and Tracy. Hi, Bernice. How are you, honey? Wait, I know what happened. My Jason. Jason. What? Where is my my bow? That's what's missing. I had a bow on people. It is, it is missing. Shit. <clears throat> oh, well. Golly. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, so did it fall off during your last reading? Did it just like pop off? Just like you're so like I was so shocked and amazed, overwhelmed that it just fell off my head. That it just oh, somebody said hi, but I missed it. Okay, we're gonna talk about Ben Carson. So okay, here's some of the things I'm hearing about Ben Carson. Hi, I'm hearing that <laughs> he's crazy. Right. <laughs> Video. Right, yeah. he's crazy. <laughs> Bernice, he's crazy, <clears throat> but he is really making it enjoyable now. Now I'm enjoying it. You're enjoying the ride, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I think there's there's going to be more that that comes out. <laughs> I, and I think I think that's what what is in reference to the the nine of, of wands. That, what does the nine of wands mean to you? Well. You know, it's 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 one of where uh, one is is steadfast. It's a card of of knowing, you know, what your experiences are, and, and being uh, strong in it, being being convinced by your own story, by your own struggles, mm. and and not giving up. You know, it's a card of perseverance and okay. and seeing it through. Well, for me, the nine of wands means very very defensive. And it's like that guy, I have a brother like this, unfortunately, I have a brother, you guys never hear me talk about my brother, never. but never. Never. never, because he's like Ben Carson, he is, <clears throat> embellishes every damn story from the time he was a kid, and unfortunately, I love my mom, my mom has passed on, but she enabled this drama-filled every morning fantasy so we'd all be at the kitchen table eating breakfast and my mom would say how's everybody's night and my brother would come up with some amazing dreams just amazing she was entertained by him, your mother mm. she was entertained by him and he was the boy right yeah yeah it was like he either you know, I, I think when there's when there's a lot of girls and yeah, and, uh, you know, I come one from a boy, huge girl family. Yeah, it's just like it's a breath of fresh air. Well, it actually created like a little bit of maybe he was always crazy, but it created a little bit of crazy in him because as he got older, and I'll never forget, um, he was like in his forties, and we were all had a party, and my brother comes in and he goes, "I'm the voice of Elmo." Like tickle me, Elmo. Uh -oh. Yeah, that is a good point. Thank you, Bernice. Jason, that was a wonderful point. I really appreciate that because he was the only boy in the family, and my mother, without a doubt, really did nurture the boy in him. Right. But in any case, he comes home and he's like, "I'm the voice of Elmo <clears throat> from Sesame Street." Right. And what I remember at that point was my mom looking down, and I remember like what I thought was in her face was. Oh dear, like he's gonna do this again. He's no longer 10. He's, right. Right. you know, 40 10. Oh, oh, so he was still doing it at 40. He's still doing it at 40. And I remember looking at my mom and I remember saying, Stop him. 
stop this, mm -hmm. stop this now. And so when I had my son, the biggest memory I have from my brother is him lying so much, even in adulthood, so that when I had my son, when I caught him in a lie, I would nail him. I would just annihilate him because I didn't want him to turn out like my brother. You know, you, you do really good voices. Can you do the voice of Elmo? No, I can only do the voices of the people that annoy me. So Elmo doesn't annoy you? You know, I, I only do the voices of real people, usually my co-workers, that annoy me. Like me, <laughs> at this moment. Go ahead, go ahead, no. impersonate me. No. <laughs> and then when I'm telling a story about them, I can mimic their voices very well. Right. But I just can't mm. mimic, you know, a wonderful character like Elmo. Hi, Pasha. Did, did Moscow. You did, did, you, you, did you try to shut down your, your son as far as like when he was trying to like be well, in that, that fantasy yes, realm? Yes, yes. And what I figured out, what, yes. And what I figured out is that although my mom, I believe what you're saying, was entertained by my brother, she didn't channel it. And I had my son become an actor. Right. I was like, hey, let's not do this. Yeah, right. Let's mm. become an actor and then you can live in that moment. Make it work for you. But when it's done, you have to be Brian again. Right. So, yeah. But sometimes I catch my son in a lie. <laughs> and I go, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> You're too big for this. In any case. Okay, so so in in the case of Ben Carson, Ben Carson, uh, he it, it looks like he he likes to embellish. I mean, he, he's he's very much uh, you know <laughs> like anyone like who runs for president, right? Intuitive is, is orders. Very, very narcissistic. Didn't you ask for keys and locks the last time? Intuitive orders well, giving you keys and locks keys. again. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for remembering. Okay. Thank you. We remember. Okay. okay. Yeah, because that was that was like a few weeks ago. I don't know. So, but but as far as like having a, a really healthy, well, not healthy ego, but a, a big ego, as far as like, you know. First of all, did anybody even know that Ben Carson had blood running through his veins? He was so quiet and so still and so. I don't have a comment about anything. I'm just. All of a sudden, if you notice, this whole weekend he's been talking up a storm. So the original character that we saw coming out of him was never him. This is him. He was faux, false, prior to this weekend. The minute the allegations came out, oh, now he can talk. I've never seen anybody take abuse like this. Obama didn't even take the same abuse. And by the way, Ben Carson, Obama did. Do you remember the whole preacher thing? Do you remember that? What are you doing? As a matter of fact, Ben Carson, Obama's been getting this crap up for eight years. He's been in presidency. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hi, healthy chicky. It's crazy. Ben Carson. Okay, here's my favorite though. I have a theory about how he became a surgeon. What is your theory about that? <laughs> my theory is that he went when he went to go stab that little kid when he was ten years old, uh -huh. and the belt buckle prevented this poor kid's death. Because the blade broke because of the belt buckle, he looked at the blade that separated from the knife in his hand, and then he, at that moment he said, he's alive, and so I'm going to become a surgeon. I'd like to know how many patients died under Ben Carson. Why don't you check into that, paparazzi? How many patients have died because... In his mind, he has this grandiose position of uh, being a great doctor. Yeah. And I don't, I believe that he achieved that. But I like to know how many people died under him. Somebody that crazy would have had to knife something up the wrong way. I think that's the correct technical term, too. <laughs> Knifing it. <laughs> That's, that's what doctors do. They just say, <laughs> surgeons, hey, who are we going to knife up today? Who's going to... Well, who do I kill today? Because <laughs> I think... <laughs> who said that? Bernice, oh my God, you and I can like just have this intimate conversation. Mm -hmm. He seems so sinister to me. I'm afraid of Ben Carson. 
You're not? I'm not afraid of him. I don't want I, this I dude be, to become president. I would be afraid of him as president. Absolutely. But but at I this would stage be afraid of him as president. Of the game. No, I'm not afraid We're going to check that him. in a minute, but I just want to show everyone. Wait. What are you doing? What? What is this, Jason? What is this? What is this? <clears throat> this is promotion, by the way. Starbucks, you should love me because I'm promoting you. This is a tea from Starbucks. It's uh, it's delicately wrapped in their promotional red cups, celebrating what? I don't. What know. are we celebrating I this don't year? Know. It's just that 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 <laughs> season that is uh, signified that's red. by red. <laughs> Season, that's right. No, wait. I did point this out earlier because because Tracy saw me drinking this and then I placed it on her table and she, like, just lost Get it. Get that off my table. She lost it. <laughs> but if you look closely, they're at the, uh, uh, what are these things called? The things so care. you don't burn your fingers? I don't fingers. care and I don't know. Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You, it's okay. It's okay not to care. It's okay. But... but Everyone else wants to know. It's like the. Uh, uh, I'm bored. Uh, I forget the name of it, but it's snow. It's got snow on it. <laughs> it's got snow. It's the on heat this. cover thing. It's the the heat uh, holder. Holder. So, so here's what I want everybody to do. When you go into Starbucks, I'm sorry. I just started writing on your cup. She's writing on my tea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. That is. I'm just so rude. Out, it's out of bounds. <laughs> it's so totally rude. Out of bounds. <laughs> When you go into Starbucks, I want everyone to say that their name is Merry Christmas. <laughs> just have fun with it. We can't help it this year. So just say, say your name is Merry Christmas. Say it's Jesus. Say it's Jesus, Joseph, and Mary. <laughs> it's Jesus, Joseph, and Mary. Say it's Jerusalem. Just have fun. Have fun this year. Your name is Merry Christmas. No. I have a question though about that because, huh. like, in the past, hasn't it been like either a snowflake or a reindeer mm -hmm. that's on the cup, like kind of an imprint of it in white? How how is this different as a whole package? Can I tell you something? <laughs> Healthy chickens laughing. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? It really isn't. Core belief for me about Christmas is Jesus, not the red nosed reindeer, not. But not, you know, technically not Santa Claus. But if there's any young kids watching, turn off the computer now. Are you going to tell them the truth about Santa Claus? <laughs> Is that why? Why would why would young kids be watching this? They they would. Cause young kids love this crap. They love me. <laughs> kids, run! They're, they're run! All, they're all now saying, "Mom." Okay, you listen to me. Kids, this is your tarot <laughs> lesson for today. It's like, why would they be watching? You never know, Jason. No. A seven-year-old, do you know how smart seven-year-olds are right now? That's true. And they have That's access, true. like there's no parental that stuff going on. That is true. In any case, any young kids, turn <clears throat> off right now. I'm about to tell you something you don't need to hear. So, the bottom line is... That's my cup. The prior cups had, <clears throat> had nothing to do with Christmas, to be honest with you. <laughs> They were white. They were like <laughs> symbolizing purity. They used to have like a, um, what do you call those balls on a tree? What do you call those things? Tree balls. Tree <laughs> <laughs> in any case, the fact that there's nothing on it this year, who cares? But because they made a statement, that's why people care. So, um, Donald Trump, who well, I'm almost getting ready to vote for Donald Trump, to be honest with you. Said that he, if he became president, he would make sure everybody said Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. You're almost getting my vote, Trump. And I know that's all we can say on that matter. <laughs> Carson. Let's look at Carson. Looking at Carson. Carson. How much longer do we have to put up with him? How much longer? Like, how soon is his downfall? It's going to happen right after tonight's mm. debate. Like, but how long can he stay neck and neck with with uh, Trump? Mm. The two worst possibilities are at the top of the Republican Party. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? These Americans are crazy. It's it's so much fun this year. Let's look. 
You're not going to do it with me, Jason? I'm... I'm, yes. I'm letting you do your thing because you, you're taking up the most of the table there. Oh, but I'm going to let you do your thing. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, we're doing this together. Yes. Can, can all of you at home see? No, but... Uh, but we can make you see if we wanted to. That's right. We can move the, the, the phone <laughs> camera. You guys look beautiful. Thank you, Lamborghini. Do I feel less than beautiful. I, I'm so, like frazzled in my spirit that I don't feel pretty and I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks. Thank you for the go hard, whoever that is. I, on the other hand, feel beautiful. He said they, we both look beautiful. Right, but you just said that, that you didn't is feel this it. Is it circle? Circuit? Circuit? F C Cersei. 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 Hi, Cersei. Alright, so these are my cards. All right, See, well, that was a good sound that came out of your mouth there. I was like, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's like a growl. It's it was like a always. growling Elmo sound. Yeah, wow. Well, according to my cards, we're stuck with him as president. Well, you're joking. No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Not, not with this card here, the hanged man. Okay. Not. And you see that more as a final outcome. <clears throat> What do you actually see? Tell me. Well, I see. Mm -hmm. What I see is that there, you know, there, there is some uh, life still left in him as far as the, mm -hmm. the candidate. He is the gift that keeps on giving. Yes, as far I do as, have the Empress along mm -hmm. with Jason. Yes. You know, so, so that is uh, mm -hmm. a, a really good sign as far as, uh, uh, oh boy, you know, there's, there's a, a lot that, that people are going to be able to, to pick apart. Yes. If not, and I'm mm -hmm. looking at your card, if you don't mind me saying, in terms know. of having a lot of people to pick him apart, Jason's looking at the Five of Swords. But ironically, in your deck, he's actually also stabbing himself, Jason. Oh, is he? Is, is he like... Uh, That's well, what it looks like uh, to yeah, me. Yeah, it does. Looks, it looks, it's, he's, so, he's stabbing his foot there. So we're talking about Ben Carson. <clears throat> what else do you see? Well, with the death card... That's a death card. There, oh, uh, interesting. I, I do see him, uh, you know, making that transition over uh, Seven of Cups. Over I, to I what, see, though? Well, fantasy, delusion. Okay. You know, where, where his own ambition mm. gets... Convoluted. Uh, and, then, and then the hangman. Meaning? And that, that is like a, a place of where there's, there's no more forward momentum that it can no longer so if you were to give a time frame how long do you see between tonight's <laughs> debate and his well, ultimate demise the uh, the debate is at seven maybe right. eight, eight o'clock tonight <laughs> how many more weeks do you see of this crap uh oh, I, I see about three more more weeks kind of kind of going into the holidays but okay um you know, I, I think that will be the, the Christmas gift for everyone else is that, he, you know, he starts to kind of go back down. Yes. And, and I don't see it like a gradual going back down, too. I think it will just it will fall off a cliff. Yes. Now, I'm going to tell you what I see, which is very similar to your death card. I'm actually getting the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune shows up when it something turns for the good and... Or something turns, no, something turns for the good or something turns for the bad. In Ben Carson's case, something will turn for the bad. But before it turns for the bad, I get victory. So with that being said, he's probably going to be successful with tonight's debate. Um, but I also get there being a, a, a climb back up, a climb back up, right? Um, his work is going to come into play. Him being a doctor is going to come into play. His money is now going to get compromised. But he's cocky. This is a cocky card. This is, you know, in terms of like, what's the difference between a woman that's pregnant and Ben Carson? Well, most women who want to have babies, when they finally get pregnant, how do they act, ladies? Or how did you ever act? It's like, I'm pregnant. And you're happy and you're proud for the most part. You're not everyone, but for the most part, you're happy, you're proud. And nobody can take this from me. Nobody can ever take my pregnancy away from me. Hmm. That's how this is being represented with Ben Carson. 
very, very cocky, very, very proud, even amidst all these crazy lies. Now, with that being said, this is secrecy. And the one thing we were talking about with some of the other psychics here is that the, it's a cover-up card, and the white in my deck means the truth will come out. White is about purity. The cover-up is the blue. The blue is about emotions. He's going to begin to unravel emotionally again in about a month's time. You said three weeks? In about a month's time. Now, what's interesting is that I got the tower. Is he married? Yeah. His relationship is going to fall apart. And it could fall apart because somebody comes out of the blue mm. and says, I had an affair with that Carson. <laughs> part of that secrecy part, right? Part of that secrecy right. part. Um, there are so many stories that are still going to come out about you, Ben. And I wish you luck. I think you're going to waste a lot of your income trying to stay in the game. I don't see the value in it. Um, I think that you're crazy. I think you took a, head, uh, a hammer to your mother's head. I think you try and stab the little boy. I think you took a conversation that you had with some guy about, you know, receiving a scholarship in uh, West Point. Um, and it was a conversation. What else am I missing? Oh, there's some paternity test out there, by the way. Is that part of the uh, the secrecy? I'm not the, quite the, confident the if that is a part of the secrecy, but mm -hmm. it is it is the thing that's going to take him down. Some affair, some, you know, that's what's going to do it. Not the fact that he took a hammer to his mother's head. Hello. Mm -hmm. That's America for you. And the Republican side, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's not me. It is the Republican side. I'm not saying the Republicans. Mm -hmm. Do, in the Republican side. Do you, do you see, like, with the, the tower there, I mean, that, that's a pretty uh, amazing card. It's a, it's a very powerful card. Do you, do you, do you feel that, that his decline will, will just, like, he'll just kind of drip, fall off a cliff there as far as his support, or do you, do you feel it being gradual? No. Um, he's been married 40 years. Well, there's, there's a paternity test that Maury Povich may have to get involved um, to prove, and he knows about it, ironically, like, he doesn't lie technically about anything, you know, he kind of goes, oh, yeah, there's a paternity, there's, there's a possibility, but he won't take a test for it, um, no, whenever I get the tower, the tower literally means, you know, everything comes crashing down, now, when I do the alignment, this is the way I align my cards, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I align it like this, for those of you at home, Tracy is realigning the cards. I'm realigning the, the cards, and it shows him holding money here. Tables turned for the worse. He's so arrogant, he refuses to see it. But everything about his empire, the fact that he is a doctor, like all of that is going to get taken away from him. Like what's going to be left standing when all is said and done, he won't even have a career. Nobody will want him. I like. I'm trying to tell you, no one will want him, like, as a doctor. Like, he can't be a professor anywhere. He won't be on anybody's board of nothing in any hospital after this. Wow. That's the way I see it, you know? I'm, I'm glad I'm Tracy's friend and not her enemy, if that's the way it comes So, out. Uh, Healthy Chicky is asking, do you think that means Trump is the one? Um, <laughs> yes. Bush can't seem to catch up to him, and Bush is the only other one. What about Rubio? I mean, he, he seems like he's very young. You know, like he's, he's, a, wow. he's a Robin to, I, to Batman. You know, I think Rubio as... might have a better chance mm -hmm. this time next year. Um, you mean I mean, four this years time, from now? yeah, four years from now, I think mm -hmm. Rubio might have better chance. I think. You know, he, he feels <clears throat> so immature to me, so young, just not, like I need, a, I, I don't know what to say. In any case, Democrats be scared because Trump has a really good chance. And I'm, I'm not looking at it technically psychically. I'm just saying. All right, guys. <laughs> On that note. Be scared. Be scared. Uh, the bottom line between me and Jason, we're giving him three weeks to four weeks before everything begins to crumble and he's just gonna have to pull out it's just not gonna make any sense and 
they're gonna start like really attacking him and nailing him. Like it's just gonna get worse. That's the game. Hi from like Mississippi. Game. Hi guys. All right, guys. Thank you for staying on. I know Jason and I joked in a little bit, but for those that, oh, by the way, tell your people to follow us, please. Um, uh, on Twitter, Facebook, share us with your, um, bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, Ben. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ben. And we, oh, we should use that now. Instead of bye, Felicia, it could be like, bye, Ben. <laughs> so, uh, Jason we, we read from... Bye, Felicia. What do you mean I don't know? Bye, Ben. That's from that one very popular thing. Yes. That's going around. <laughs> Yes, so we read from the <laughs> we read from the Green Man. Right the Green now. Man. Give us a call. I'm I'm here all day. 818-985-2010. Thanks guys. Call us 15 minutes. Don't give us more than 15 minutes. You don't know us. But call us and then you'll get to know us. We love Absolutely. you. Bye. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for love the you. hearts. Thank you. Um emoji. Emoji.